Hi there. Um, I just wanted to show you a quick and dirty way to copy an existing assignment from in Blackboard that may you may have in one course and you want to uh, copy it to another one without needing to, you know, start completely from scratch. Let me share my screen really quick. And I'm going to, um, this is a, cur a cur course I'm teaching now, my current Bio 161 course. So let's say that you have an item or an assignment or anything like that. And I'm going to take one that is really complicated here. So um, I have this weekly item when I upload all my slides and um, <clears throat> put links and there's a playlist of videos and so on. And let's say that I want to copy this. And this is an item, this is not an assignment. So what I'm going to do is that I take edit. And what happens is that if I just copy paste us um, the item, the content that is in the box as it is, that's not going to carry over all the uh, links and uh, attachment and so on. So there's this button here called the HTML. So this is the code view. And as you can see, it's very long because it has all these, you know, different links and embedded <clears throat> videos and so on. So you can either just highlight it with your mouse or you can um, select all. And um, I mean, I usually just use shortcuts. So the select all is either control or command A, depending on what is your, uh, you know, operating system. And then I copy the whole thing. So that would be control C or command C. So I copied everything. And if you are copying it to another course, then obviously what you need to do is to have another tab or another window open um, with the, uh, the, the course you want to um, copy it to. But I'm just going to you know, demo it here. So build content. It's not happening. Why is it not happening? Because it's slow. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to do an item. And um, same thing. So I'm going to wait and click on the HTML code. Control or Command V is paste. Update. And then let's say that this is a test copy. So we don't. Okay, so we are going to look for it now. It's going to be in the bottom. And as you can see, it's here. Test copy. So you can see all the, uh, the links are here. The videos are working and so on. So if I click here, it's going to download the, the attachment. You cannot see it, but it has just downloaded. So again, um, this is a quick and dirty way to copy. You can use pretty much to copy everything, even if like, let's say that there is an existing test question that has a picture that you really like, and you would like to reuse it in a different question, let's say in a different type of question. Um, you cannot really copy paste the picture or the image. You will have to like download it separately. So what I do in that case is the same thing. Let's say I, there is a picture in the, in the prompt of a multiple choice question, which I want to reuse, but in a different type of questions, I go into HTML. So again, HTML is really your friend because it's going to one, even if you are just copying test, text, it will remove all the additional formatting that Word would add to it. So it probably has, happened to you that you copy pasted into the textbook from Word and then you got all this funky, um, you know, formatting of the text. If you copy in HTML, yes, it's going to remove the bold and the bullet uh, points, etc. but on the same time, you are going to get the clean text so you can add it later. So again, this is the HTML box here. And, um, and if it was an assignment, 
let's say that you have an assignment and obviously you are going to copy the HTML again the same way, but then instead of a new item, you are going to do a new assignment and then copy paste there and then you would obviously just have to ch check the uh, um, assignment options, you know, due date and so on. So hopefully this was helpful for you. Um, HTML code is your friend, really makes life very easy. There is a way to move an assignment or an item somewhere else. You know, there is a copy the item and then you know, the move option and it has the option to copy. My problem is, maybe it's not the problem for you. My problem is that when I look for where to copy it, I get 300 bio whatever courses and there is no way to figure out which is mine, or the one that I want to copy it from. So it, it gets really difficult to do it with a copy option. So for me, this is how I solve it. So anyway, hope this helps. Take care.